Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and today I'm going to share my planner lineup for the rest of the year. So from July, hopefully I'll make it through the end of the year with these. Surprise, surprise, I'm not really doing anything much different than what I've already been doing. Some things have fallen by the wayside that I may pick back up from the planner lineup video I did at the beginning of the year but let's go ahead and just get into this first off I have my classic happy planner size notebook it has the expander gold rings I really don't like these expander rings and I will probably change them out I do have some black metal discs that were on the planner that I started out with at the beginning of the year I just never actually got into planning in that planner. I don't know that I am actually a calendar type planner person all the time. Um, that works out well for me for family stuff, home stuff, medical appointments, things like that. But just on the regular day to day for my work, it doesn't allow me the space that I need. I need more space just to jot things down. So, I have this notebook. I can't really just show everything that's in here, but it's just kind of like a brain dump. I, I know people don't like that term, but it kind of acts as that for me, for work ideas, project ideas, things like that. I have the sticky notes in here. It's just some of everything. A variety of papers are in here so um yeah it's just a notebook and somewhat of a messy notebook at that but this is what I use I'm on the go and I know I'm gonna be out for a while I will take this with me even though it's kind of big I don't like to take it out but I will and as a supplement to this I also have I guess these would be the new things that I have I have the happy notes from the wrong wrong collection so if I get tired of my basic black cover then I'll just use one of these and the good thing about the disc system I can take everything out of here and put it on these I can use these covers on this I can mix and match and make it look the way I want it to look and change it at any time I want to change it so basically these three are all the same thing just notebooks Next is, this is my health and wellness, well, I can't even say wellness. This is my health care planner. Okay, so all of my medical appointments, if you didn't know, I guess this is the first time I'm going to tell this on YouTube. I was diagnosed with breast cancer July 30th of 2018. So... I've been using this to keep up with all the appointments that I have, keep up with how I'm feeling about things. I do a little journaling in it. There was a period of time that I didn't write anything in here because I was just not feeling that well. I would think about it, but I wouldn't write anything. But lately I've been trying to do more to record more of how I'm feeling and what's going on. So. I, I This is a recollections planner, by the way, a recollections spiral planner. When I found out what I had, I went and bought this planner specifically for that purpose. I even keep all of my um, hospital bands, medical bands, in this little clear pocket in the back. I have my um, treatment schedule in here. And yeah, it's just... A little bit of writing here and there and like I said I'm trying to keep better track of things in here so that's what this one is for then we have the half sheet disc bound I think this is my favorite size for the happy planner even though this isn't actually a planner it was a notebook again it's interchangeable this is a cover that I made myself out of a Dollar Tree cut mat and just with um, mini discs that I purchased and then I just use this um, shimmery cardstock with a punch just to give it a nice pretty edge, make it look pretty. 
and that's it I didn't do anything else fancy to this it's just that Dollar Tree cover and this was the one that I originally purchased this is an actual happy notes so I just took everything as far as my inserts out of here and put them in here and again when I'm tired of using it this way then I can put them back in here um, they're interchangeable so what I have in here is just my monthly inserts that I've printed these inserts are available in my shop at scrapcraftastic.com so this is what I'm using for my monthlies for home family scheduling things like that and then I'm using these week on two page horizontal inserts that are also available in my shop at scrapcraftastic for my weeklies and that's basically it and I really like working with these I like planning on these they're working out well for me I don't feel obligated to plan on these it just kind of helps keep me on track visually and it's fun it's a creative outlet I think this is one of my most decorated planners so this is where I tend to use a lot of stickers in this planner but as you can see I do write in it as well so right now this is a good size for me just for everyday family home type planning stuff this is all an eclectic group of planners I mean it's nice for everything to be matchy matchy and coordinate but I've just gotten to the point where I just need it to work it doesn't really matter how it looks not really I mean yeah I just need it to work it doesn't matter how it looks I try to make them look as good as I can but it, that's not the main thing I just need it to work so this is my Hobonichi Weeks um, originally I purchased this for research just so that I could design stickers for it basically and I have design stickers I did a spring collab with Coco's Vision I'm still working on doing some more kits for this it's just slow going this is one I did recently it's available in the shop but what I decided to use this for is budgeting I really want to start keeping track of what I spend each day every week and keeping up with my bills a little bit better I, I have a spreadsheet that I use for bills but for some reason I kind of lost interest in using that and stopped using it which has caused me to forget a few things <laughs> because I'm not using it so I'm thinking I can just do myself a full list of bills on some of the grid paper in the back and then kind of, kind of make myself a tracker back here then extend maybe the weekly over so that I could track bills here I can track expenses home expenses and work expenses I don't know if I want those two in one notebook together I have to think about that a little more but definitely bills and home expenses next it would be my B6 travelers notebook I have not actually been using the notebook it's pretty full with decorative things that I really need to take out some of this there's no inserts in here that I've been using so a lot of this can come out I haven't really been using the actual notebook but I have been using B6 size systems it's just that I haven't put them in the notebook so this is what I have and this is what I'm saying they're not pretty it has been my intent to do something about these covers on these Dollar Tree planners I just haven't done it yet it's not that important to me I guess what was more important was actually using the planners this is my social media planner it's very decorative I have fun with this I don't go into a whole lot of detail as far as my plans for social media this is kind of a supplement to my editorial calendar I just basically use it to highlight the things that I need to do on social media each day I'm really trying to focus more on building my online business building my YouTube channel providing excellent content for my patrons on patreon if you're not a patron please go check that out and join us over there and 
yeah, just trying to do make the most of my social media presence. So that is what I'm using this for. This is a Dollar Tree planner. I wanted to use this just to show that you don't have to have the most expensive planner out there to have cute spreads and have creative spreads and layouts. You can still do it and do it in a budget friendly way. So one day I will take this vinyl cover off and do something with it one day. This one I'm not sure I'll continue to use because I didn't even go back and use it in June. I decorated it, but I did not come back to it. I may give it another shot for July, but again, this is a Dollar Tree planner. And both of these can go into this, but I just need to clean it out. So I'm going to put this over here. Maybe I'll actually end up putting them in there. Then I also have this little notebook. It's not a Mead, but Mead does make notebooks like this. And it's a 5x7. I think I got it a year or two ago during back to school time. When I was buying school supplies for the kids, I always buy myself school supplies too. A few things. <laughs> so I got this notebook for myself. It is a B6. This has been with me constantly. I have this in my bedroom with me when I'm at the computer just everywhere I toss it in my purse you can see I have tabs sticking out they're not labeled it's just I was using it kind of bullet journal style kind of scratch pad style um, I've got all kinds of things in here this I just I don't know I was sitting at the desk one day and stuck that on there it really <laughs> has no purpose whatsoever but I'm just taking notes in this writing down things I even went so far as to once I finished those first few pages I started numbering the pages so that I could find my stuff and I just go for it in here I don't try to do any type of system I just write what I need to write down and put it in the index when I get a chance and just keep it moving so I have all kinds of things in here ideas appointments phone calls you name it it's just full of everything sketches <laughs> some of everything okay doodles everything I love this it has come in so handy and what I do is if it's something important then I eventually transfer it to my home planner my social media planner whatever the case may be this is working out great for me again I can put this in this traveler's notebook and have all of this together so the last one the last item in my planner lineup is my a6 Hobonichi this is my highlight reel I guess you would call it I basically what I do here is just highlight things that happen during the day my memory is pretty bad I have a lot on my plate and I just don't remember everything. I don't have an actual memory planner. I was thinking about going back to using my from scratch spreads as memory planning and I may start that in July. I'm not sure so I didn't want to put that in the planner lineup. But this is just where I go in and write down what happened that day. Some days I miss doing it and my memory is so bad I can't even go back and <laughs> write in what I can remember. And then lately, what I have been doing is trying to do a little sketch, a little hand lettering, a little drawing. Um, just to give myself some practice. So you can see here, I started doing that on the different days. Just drawing it in hand lettering and I started doing more and more miss some days <laughs> and yep so when I'm just sitting in my room watching YouTube videos um, 
relaxing I'm pull this out and doodle whatever happened for the day like this morning I had a blueberry donut so anyway that is what I'm using this one for just keeping up with the day to day and I just have little stuff tucked in here I do have this little notebook in the back just for sketching out ideas and things like that I do have my JD and Brooklyn stickers even though I don't use stickers in this I tried it at the beginning of the year as you can see here and I don't like the way it leaves the page feeling so I left that by the wayside back then I don't even use the monthly calendars in here anymore either so anyway that is my planner lineup so basically I'm using the same things for the most part that I was using at the beginning of the year except for I've just changed some notebooks in my B6 we have the Hobonichi weeks and the half sheet this is an eclectic mix of planners notebooks however you want to call it calendars but it's working for me and I'm really enjoying it and I'm gonna hopefully stick to it to the end of the year we'll see what happens so I hope you enjoyed my planner lineup. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. If you like videos like this, hit that subscribe button and the little bell so that you'll receive notifications each time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.